it going bros? It's Moon Crash and I'm back today with another awesome video for you guys. Today we are doing Building Scare of Part 6 and um, I finally got this new package from Lego.com and uh, we're going to unbox it in 3, 2, 1 and go. Hey guys, so this is what I got. I got about uh, 50 of um, these pieces right here. They're uh, the 4x4 four four, uh, tan tiles and that's for just plat plating on the, um, on the beach of Scarab. And I got a bunch of tree pieces and I got at least 200 water pieces. I don't think that's enough though. Because I got like, I don't know, like 300 last time. And that only did like a tiny little bit of the water that I need. So I might need to order more water. And I got about 50 of these orange uh, pieces. And uh, if you're wondering why I bought these, it's for the rail speeder. That little tram system that goes through Scarab and the tower and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm just make, using this to make the rail speeder. And uh, it's just a bunch of uh, 2x4 bricks. And I just got a bunch of, uh, it's a hundred of these just random plant livestock pieces. And I also got these uh, slope pieces for on top of the rail, the rail speeder to make it like, I don't know, more tight, like, I don't know, more slopey and more smooth, I guess, I don't know. And, yeah guys so let's get building okay guys so this is my progress so far on the scarif mock and i've been working non-stop for like a couple days and uh yeah so let's get into this stuff so first of all i'm gonna move my light right here i did i did some plating right here just to extend it a little far out and uh yeah i also added all these grass pieces to like fill up all the all this area of the green plates and I also finished the water, which is uh, a relief for me because I thought I didn't have enough water pieces. And let's get into the like other stuff in the trees. All right, guys. So I put about like 11 trees down, and three of them don't even have any leaves because I ran out of uh, palm tree branch pieces. I only have two left, and it looked dumb with only two on it. So I just decided to not put any on it. And uh, this is really accurate to the Battlefront maps in the Star Wars Battlefront Scarif DLC. And definitely, I definitely recommend getting the game. It's really cool. But I don't have any of the DLCs because I don't really play the game too much. And it's, I don't know, a waste of money for me. And I also put, all the trees are surrounding the bridge. And I also put, uh, like all these little plant pieces are just random scattered across the whole entire sand area and I also filled in that little area back there with those plates that wasn't filled in in the last episode and I also put some more minifigures in here and I also put the Ewing and the Ewing isn't official right there I might hang it from a from a string on top of my uh like on the ceiling but tell me in the comments if you want me to do that because that's going to be a really hard challenge for me and let's move on to the rail speeder. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you the rail speeder right now. So it's really small and it's kind of like a little boxy shape. It has a little interior like control panel right there. It has some top detail. That's about it. And there's this little little thing on the bottom. And I'll show you what that does right now. So see these two uh, little bricks? They're like sl like slanted sideways. And this is how I do it. And uh, this is how I do it. So this little thing goes in this little little area and it just slides really perfectly. And I'm gonna actually put uh, tiles right here so it can slide even smoother. And I'm gonna show you the outline of the tower right now. So it's gonna be so big. This is the outline and yeah guys, I think this is, concludes this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe and see ya!